Good evening and salutations, my BNB fans. You know, most of this episode, well, actually, to tell you, there was really only one part of this episode that was kind of ass if you really start to think about it. That was the Finn and Tom Arnold, or aka Captain Deuces, because, you know, that's an actual name, apparently. Um, it was just more of part comedy, part less than then try to stretch this out as far as we can. Now, the whole time you got Stephanie Smith there telling Rich how much she needs her mom, and she's happy that she's back, and she's all like, well, can't you just convince, can't you just sit there and convince um, mom to stay, whatever? Just, I just, I need her to stay. I need you to sit there and convince her to stay. And I'm just like, Okay. I mean, that's, that's kind of up to, that's kind of up to Taylor. You know, Taylor has always been the type of person that's been in town for a little bit, then goes all cloak trotting, helping everyone else. Meanwhile, all the stuff that was up going on with with Steffi and, and, and Ridge and Thomas and everything like that, and she's most of the times nowhere to be found. You know, that's pretty, that's pretty much has been her pattern. For most of her life, or, or, or for most of the times that I've been watching, also the thing. Hey, maybe she was around a little bit longer, but as far as I'm concerned, she's always seemed like she's just kind of gone with the wind. Now, Taylor is not there, really harping on Brooke to get your daughter under control. And I'm like, Brooke's been doing that. Brooke has literally been doing her best to sit there and tell. Um, hope not to do the things that she's doing. So I'm kind of just like, well, Taylor, what else do you want her to do? You want her to sit there and, what, chain to the damn bed or whatever? Like, what what do you want her to do? She's like, I really need to sit there and make this clear. I was like, Taylor, why don't you go and you sit there and talk to her? You're the one with the damn psychology degree. Why don't you sit there and, and get it, put it to good use? Why don't you sit there and do this? Why don't you sit there and talk to her? Because literally a good five to seven minutes uh, after that was just annoying. But Brooke, you know, it was like, no, let's, let's sit there and try to put bygones, be bygones, and let's be friends. Right? And I, I did, I, I was probably one of the very few people that did think that their friendship was actually really interesting. Also loved the fact that they kept, like, teasing and hinting at this somewhat romance between the two. I mean, it's B&B, so you know that was not going to happen. Because, well, reasons. Like, Dubai and everything. But I, I did love how they kept Snitty trying to flirt with that idea. Um, but no, she wants, you know, they you know they, they get to a point where it's like, you know, listen, let's just, let's just not have the next generation make the same mistakes that we made. Keep all that rivalry, that BS or whatever to the side. They have children now and they need to sit there and act as a family unit. They both agree and after a while Taylor's like, you know, let's not can try. I can sit there and really try to be friends again. Now at some point, um Taylor contacts Lee. Lee comes over there I'm like, well, what does she have to sit there and talk to Lee about, you know? Was she going to say, I was thinking that they, maybe, like, her and Lee was going to try to form some sort of plan to really protect um, Stephanie's marriage from hope. But she tells her that she has heart failure. She's dying. And I'm like, wait, hold on, let me get this straight. You're telling me that they brought Tail her back to kill her off. So, when you had the chance to kill off Eric, and you brought back the actress that plays Stephanie Forster to take him to heaven, y'all were just like, nah, we're going to sit there and just bring him back, put on some sort of miracle pills or whatever, it would be fine. But tell him, that's, that's what you're going to take off. That makes, that makes sense to you. Okay. 
sure, whatever. I think it's, I think it's stupid. I, I feel like there's more that they can do with the Taylor character. I look at the situation with B and B and how they do some of their actors. They blindside a lot of them. The last actress that played Taylor, the stuff that they did to her, the fact that she didn't even know she was there being fired, the shadiness of it all, the uncertainty when they wasn't there talking how she was like, what's going on? Am I on the show? Am I not on the show? All that stuff. So somebody in my chat asked me, did Rebecca know that her character was being killed off when she, um, you know, when she signed Dawn? And with b and Most likely not. I'm not, that is just my educated guess to take my comment with a grain of salt, but I don't think that they did. I think that they have shady business practices. General Hospital clearly has shady business practices. So, I wouldn't be too surprised. I just, I find it completely and utterly stupid that they can do so much more with this character other than use her to prop up Ridge and Brooke. And that's what they did the last time. And now this time, I don't get it. That's pretty much all I have to sit there and say. Now, I know this video is coming a little bit late. Um, if I miss anything, write in the comment section below. I'll be talking about this tomorrow for the members only. If you're not a member, join. This week is actually going to be pretty interesting. We're going to have some really great guests on the channel. Um, so you definitely want to be a part of that. Plus, all the other perks that I do do. You do. <laughs> I'm so driven out, but um, I do offer a lot of stuff for, for members when you become a member. Uh, we have a lot of conversations, a lot of tea that gets spilled that I don't normally talk about in regular videos and regular streams. You want to be a part of that. Now, if I missed anything, write in the comment section below. If you're a member, we'll sit there and talk about that stuff tomorrow. Um, otherwise, have a great weekend. I will sit there and see y'all next weekend. Um, non-members, I will sit there and see y'all next weekend. Members, I will sit there and see you tomorrow.